Hi everyone, I'm Elizabeth Ryder and welcome to my Whole Living video blog. Today I'm answering a reader's question. Carol wrote in and asked, Hi Liz, I've heard mixed things about juicing. Some people say it's really good for you and others say you shouldn't do it at all. Can you let me know your opinions of the best way you think you should juice? Thanks, Carol. Carol, this is a great question, so thank you for writing it in and asking. Juicing can actually be really good for you if you do it correctly. So there's a few things about juicing. You're obviously taking all of the fiber out of the fruits and vegetables you're juicing. So if you don't get a lot of fiber into your diet, I'd rather that you ate the whole fruits and vegetables to get the fiber from the fruits and vegetables. But if you already have a pretty healthy diet and you're ready to take things to the next level, juicing is a fantastic thing to add. Now, the biggest mistake people make when they're juicing is they juice too much fruit or too many root vegetables that have a lot of sugar in them. And when you do that, you're just overloading your body with sugar, which isn't good because you're creating an insulin response that isn't good for your body. So when you juice, you wanna juice mostly vegetables that are not sugary vegetables. Now, a good rule of thumb is two to three non-sugary vegetables for every small piece of fruit or root vegetable that you put into the juice. So, when you're juicing, greens are fantastic to juice. Also, cucumbers are an excellent addition. I always put a cucumber in any juice I make because of all of the water in the cucumber. Peel it if it's not organic, but if it's organic, the whole thing is good for you just to put the whole thing into the juicer. So, when you're juicing, like I said, two to three vegetables for every piece of fruit or root vegetable that has sugar in it, like beets and carrots. Another tip for juicing is always include a lemon and put it straight into the juicer. A half a lemon if it's a large lemon or if it's a small lemon, just put the whole thing in because the citric acid will help cut the bitter taste of any vegetables that maybe aren't that great when they're juiced. And lemons have a huge amount of vitamin C and they're very, very low in sugar. So the lemons don't count towards that piece of fruit that you get to put in. My favorite juice to make is actually two cucumbers, a bunch of kale, half a beet and half an apple, and then I put a small lemon into it. And that's, I love it. I make it all the time. Now, a few more things about juicing. There are different kinds of juicers. And the most common juicers that are usually under one or $200 are ca called masticating juicers. And it, when, it's when it has a mesh screen and you put the, the fruit or vegetable into it and it spins really quickly and presses the juice out of it. And those are great. I actually recommend a few in my favorite things section on my website. The only thing about those kinds of juicers, they're called masticating juicers because they whip air into the juice and air causes the juice to oxidize. So you'll usually know because there's a little bit of foam on top of the juice, but if you have that kind of juicer, just drink the juice right away after you juice it. You don't want to store it because it's going to oxidate in the refrigerator. If you have one of the more expensive juicers, and they're usually somewhere around three or $400, they're a great investment if you can make it. Um, or something that you can save up to. If you have one of those kinds of juicers, you can actually juice a lot ahead of time. They yield a higher amount of juice and you can actually store the juice in the refrigerator for a few days. Just fill up a mason jar to the top um, so there's not a lot of surface area and put a lid on it really tightly and you can store it in the refrigerator for a few days. Um, a few other things about juicing. Whenever you have greens, um, if you have broccoli or any kind of parsley or a bunch of greens that you have, and you, it's something that you cut the top off of, save the stems and put them into your juicer with your juice because they have so many nutrients in them and they're so good for you and it's a way that you can actually use all of the food that you buy. So broccoli stems are actually very, very sweet and a great addition to your juice. So are, if I ever have a bun bunch of parsley and I cut the top off to use the parsley in a recipe, I'll save all of those stems in the refrigerator and use them the next day in my juicer. So Carol, I hope that answers your question. Yes, juicing is very good for you if you do it correctly. Don't overload your body on sugar. Make sure you're juicing a lot of greens and non-sugary vegetables and then add that small piece of fruit and lemon to make it taste really good. So like I said, I hope that answers your question. I hope that helps everyone who watched this video. You guys will hear from me soon. You can read more on my blog, wholelivingblog.com and have a great day or night wherever you're at. Bye for now.